they folks supposed to get rolled up grimes, rolling grimes so loud, not just supposed to entertain it. However, at this uh, legendary moment right now, this mile post, we actually are focusing on a little bit of entertainment, and then some folks I want to introduce you to a man that we affectionately call Mr. D. J. Squid. Squid, good to see you, man. Good to see you, brother. All right, look, Squid, blood runneth orange. And you know what? I'm glad yours does today. Yeah, but good to see that you have the appropriate hat on today. You know? Right, We're not going to get into all of that, but you know, you have the long hat in the game. Uh, it's my man, you can do it. You know, I, I did that to create a fuss, but that fuss was us. <laughs> What's happening? Look, you did some DJing, not at this function only, but also at previous CBT. But what is it about this function, about this affair, man, that brings out the best in DJ Squid when you just do this thing in front of all of us? Well, you know, I, I go through this in my head all the time. I know. I do, I do parties here and there for other organizations, that kind of thing, and I never feel as hyped as I am when I'm doing it for my family, my friends here at SU. You know, it's like, okay, we all, we all parted together way back when, when I could see how long we did that. But every time we get together, it's like, okay, I gotta make sure I keep the rock like I used to. I gotta make sure I'm on my A, 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 A plus A. So I sometimes I get a little nervous too. Man. Last night, I was doing a party, I was like, wow, man, nothing, it seems like nothing changed. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's so it's time. almost like two and four. Exactly. And you, you actually want to perform. You get nervous like I am when I get ready to do a show. Right. Now, the rest of us that DJ is you just put the two together and make it happen. It's not like that. You, you do preparation, you put stuff together. Tell us a little bit about that process, especially for the young brothers and sisters who think about getting into that business. Well, you know, a lot of things happen because of technology. Yes. You know, now that you just buy a laptop, or download some music, and start playing around. Back when I was coming up, I mean, you had to have the money to buy turntables, records, you had to double the record if you wanted to do really mix. Uh, so that's more money, speakers, amps, everything. Now everything was nice and affordable. And then you had to pay a guy like me to help bring the crates in and exactly. set everything up. Exactly. Which I did was twice for free. Exactly. Right, so I, so, I, so I, I seen that bill. Okay. So, yeah, <laughs> so now it's just a lot more portable for us. It's a lot more portable, but the guys don't put in the work. Right. This, this is what I'm talking about. Let's talk about it. You know, Back coming up with the turntables and the record, and spending hours on the basic just doing your thing, trying to get it right, making sure two songs sound like one and two things. A lot of the cats today lost the whole side of that, and they just want to play the hits and then slam it low and then slam it low. That's not really the art. It's not the so what happens now because it's much more technologically flexible when you hit a button and make something happen. Right. They're not in the basement doing the work like you were doing a few days ago. Exactly. Now I'm advanced with technology, but I bring the, the practice and the art with me. From your technology. foundation of the foundation. So if you don't have the foundation, to me you're just a, a computer program. Now you're not just a DJ. Obviously there are other things going on in your work. Tell us about one or two things that makes DJ, who I know professionally, DJ Squid, making that whole person. You are also what else in your regular life? Well, in the real world, uh, you know, I work for the airlines, you know, I'm actually in charge of safety and security for the airlines. And, uh, you know, what I, get, what I brought to that from here is like just like my interaction with people. Because, you know, you come to the campus and there's 10,000 So they help you get outside yourself. Outside of myself. For four years, you out and make models and shit. Exactly. So, one or two citizens, what does that school the university meant? And this is that this is what you guys meant to do on that student and the law. Well, as a student, uh, you know, I, I, I learned that I need to think more outside of the box. I need you. I should no, no. Yeah, come on back, but I need you. Come on back. Come on back. Yeah, I got it. No, no, go, go do this thing. Make sure you come back. All right. Thanks, sweetie love. All right. So, so if I point to somebody, you point, you got to come back for an interview. I need you to come back for an interview. Yeah, All right, love you. All right, if you don't come back, I'm coming to get you. I know I'm not as fast as you, but I can hit hard. All right, man. All right, man. Yeah. 
Yeah, so most of the most of the most of the for two. Tell me what you can what you make your as a student and in your life as an adult sweet. Uh I guess I can that's been two words. It's all uh, well, two words. I mean responsibility, you know, you know you need to be responsible for X, Y, and Z when you're here. You know, I might have faltered here and there with that, but in retrospect, I know what I need I needed to do and that pushed me forward. But now I know what I have to do when it comes to special things like raising the sun and that kind of thing. And the other thing that's really important to me it was the love man from all of us, you know, friends. It's more like family, because a lot of us are still together after 25, 30 years. We're still tight and like I don't really know about any little college. I don't hear other people talk about, yeah, I'm gonna hang out with my, my college friends and this and that. But we're always together and I I'm gonna trade that for more. Man, no. Uh, for you folks who are listening, uh, I want to make sure that after you hear this next part, you like edit it out so that nobody else can hear it. Squid, this is just between me and you. Nobody else can see this. When you first put your eyes on Bubba Brown, when you said, what up with that, man? Tell me what went through that mind of yours when you said, okay, what is happening with this cat? Man, I was like, you know what? I can take him because the only thing he had on me was size, strength, and speed. And that's it. So, <laughs> so, oh, other than that, he even. <laughs> my man. Hey folks, my good friend DJ Squid. Get to know you better. Well, you know, um, Steve Squid sold it on Facebook, but I also have a site where you want to download some of the Squid mixes that you, you know, different kinds of music, house, hip hop, reggae, whatever. And it's www.squidmix, all one word, squidmix.podomatic.com. So I'm going to give them a rolling brown show stick to the tape, but we're going to put it on the pack. 